this is apparently an obby about Among Us, and I need to escape. So let's do that. Everybody, I am Kindly Key and welcome back to Roblox. I found myself staring at a Roblox obby. I am deeply intrigued by this. Just this picture definitely did a great job of catching my attention. Escape Among Us obby. Welcome to Escape Among Us parkour obby. Can you escape the imposter to the winner's area? So my expectation is that I have to like decide which Among Us jelly bean person is the imposter or is not the imposter. I feel like I would want to go into the door of the not imposter. So there's two imposters. I don't know. Let's just, let's try it, right? What more can you do? And here we are in the Escape Among Us obby. I feel deeply betrayed by my own team members. It's like I'm playing Among Us with my friends and they stabbed me in the back. The very first thing I see when I load up this obby is Baldi. Hello, Baldi. I mean, I guess I can be you. Cool. What does Baldi have to do with Among Us? Why are you here? All I see are just posters of Among Us jelly bean guys. I'm trying to see if there's more up there. You know what? There's only one thing that we can do to investigate this further. And that is actually play through the obby. So that is precisely what we're gonna do. This is what I'm looking for. So we're gonna find it. Let's go. We gotta jump across rainbow platforms and it's fantastic. All right, stage one completed. Stage two, moving on. I do appreciate the little progress meter up at the top of the screen. That That is a nice little touch. I could also just like, fly through the obby by picking up, you know, an airplane. I'm not gonna do that. I want to experience the escape Among Us obby. Cause you know, I'm being chased by posters of Among Us dudes. It's fine. We're gonna make the best of it and we're still gonna have a good time. Even though there's very little to do with Among Us in this actual obby, aside from the giant posters that we've already mentioned. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt and hope that there's more uh, Among us Enus. Hey! Hey, look! C controllers! <laughs> you know, because we're gamers. We're gaming. Let's climb a vine. You know, as you do in, in all the Among Us levels, you're, you're climbing vines. Not an actual thing in Among Us, but I feel like it should be. Let's jump across some colorful squares, <laughs> shall we? We shall. We've made it to stage 11. Let's see. Let's try to, like, articulate, do some mathematical thing. We're gonna need, like, that, that mathematics overlay, because I'm gonna be doing some intense equations right now. I'm, I'm calculating. No, actually, I'm not. But what I'm looking at is we're on stage 11, and you can see we've probably completed maybe a fifth or a fourth of the entire bar, which leads me to the conclusion that there's about 40 or 50 stages. So we've we've got light at the end of the tunnel. We know what our goal is. And I will say a lot of these stages are incredibly easy. So there's that. That that is that is kind of helpful. There have been a handful of obbies that I have played, specifically the ones that were themed around me that felt truly impossible. Also fellow gamers, the Triforce anybody? <laughs> Zelda. All right, let's let's carry on. Not sure what the Triforce from The Legend of Zelda has to do with Among Us, but once again, giving the obby the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to get a fidget spinner. No, I'm not. 150 Robux for a fidget spinner? No, thanks. This is kind of a tricky jump. Th this is actually going to be the first Ooh. obby that, <laughs> that kills me, um, is what I was going to say, and then I died. So it was perfect. This is tricky. It's also in a very like confined space, so it messes with your camera. There goes my head. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so it doesn't mess up my camera. That's the secret. All right, all right, one more jump. Hoi! Yes, we made it. All right, that was definitely the hardest obstacle so far, and it honestly wasn't that hard. More vine climbing. Let's go. Okay, we can see a little bit more of what's left. I don't see a colorful doorway where I have to select the imposter, but we're going to continue. I do see Lego blocks and 
more Xbox One controllers. And are those iPhones? Yeah, those are iPhones and cheeseburgers. Everybody knows that Among Us Space Jelly Bean people love cheeseburgers. It is part of the Among Us lore. Okay, do I need to jump on the colorful part or the not colorful part? You need to jump on the not colorful part. So like, like this, see that, that's how it works. Okay, are some of these gonna kill me? Or maybe you go through certain ones. It seems like the yellow ones might not actually hold my weight. They do, I lied. Okay, then we'll just go straight across. <laughs> Look at us, we're almost halfway done. So I think it's safe to say that there are 50 stages and we are jumping over the cheeseburgers, the much sought after cheeseburgers of Among Us. So, so far, the only reference in this game to Among Us is, is the posters, those two posters at the bottom. That makes me sad, but we have successfully made it to another level, and so we will continue this adventure. I, I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. They just look like weights that you'd work out with. I don't feel like Among Us people would get much use out of them because they technically don't really have arms. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Th this one got me. It got me. You win, Abby. Some of these aren't actually there. So, like, we can do the little camera trick, right? So, I think red is there. Good, good. So, maybe you just kind of do... Nope. Nope, you don't, you don't go back and forth. That's, that's not the secret. But we got the pattern so far. So it's that one, that one, and then it should be this one. Okay. And then it's blue. Go to that one. And then let's, let's guess yellow. I was wrong. Back to green. Okay. We go to green. And then I could probably skip the next one, but just to be safe. I think red is solid. Yes! You could say that those blocks that you fall through are, uh, Kinda sus. <laughs> am I am I right, <laughs> fellow gamers? I I hate it. Let's move along and forget that that ever even happened. I feel like a lot of these obstacles aren't even really worth talking about because they just there's nothing more to them other than just jumping from one to the next. That is quite literally it. But I do believe that we have made it to the final set of stages. And I'm still deeply flabbergasted by the fact that this has nothing to do with Among Us. I should have known. And we're jumping across iPhones. To their credit, you know, you can play Among Us on an iPhone. <sighs> we are really stretching. We are really, really stretching here. Now, typically, you find that as you progress through a game, it becomes, you know, a little bit more difficult. I have to say, this particular game, I feel like has only become easier. <laughs> the last set of obstacles were just ridiculously easy. And there you have it. We win. We are the, the greatest Among Us player ever. Winner. I do like the trophy, but I feel like an imposter just ate me, completely swallowed me whole. I do not exist anymore. So let's try to find another Among Us obby that actually is Among Us themed. And it's worth mentioning, this obby currently has 2,200 people playing it. 28 million visits. We've all been fooled. Okay, this looks slightly promising. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm a little Among Us guy. I am, I am very okay with this. Now, the, the world around me doesn't feel all that uh, Among Us-y, but I do appreciate that I am actually a little Among Us dude. That's that's pretty rad and, and actually super adorable. Look at him. <laughs> he just looks like a little egg with legs. It says, finish the game for a surprise. What if I just press this button? How much does it cost? Oh my gosh, 800 Robux to get the surprise instantly. I'm not going to do it. I'm stronger than that for now. But I did want to remind you guys that in case you ever do purchase Robux, you can use star code KEYIN, you know, K-E-Y-I-N when you check out when purchasing Robux. Helps directly support the channel, and I do very, very much appreciate all that support. Thank you guys for using that code. Now, let's, let's persevere, and let's do some Among Us parkour obbying. I am jamming through this obby right now. Oh, 
Well, spoke too soon, apparently. But I am making some some pretty quick progress, which uh, which feels pretty good. Oh my gosh. This, okay, apparently not. Finally, moving on. Pick the right door. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the progress that I've made compared to the, the progress that is there in front of me. And boy, there, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to keep fighting the temptation to just press the skip to finish button, but I might not be able to fight it. So I'll say each obstacle is giving me 1%, which means there's a hundred total. That's a lot. The previous level was, was 45 or 46 or something like that. So this one has quite a few more, but I'm gonna keep persevering as this adorable little jelly bean man. Quarter of the way there, fight on. My little egg friend, fight on. I gotta say, despite being very simple, I am enjoying this obby much more than the previous one. And I don't know if the only thing that it takes is turning me into this little Among Us guy, but it seems to be doing the trick. Now, this particular section, though, is very annoying. I don't, I'm not touching the edges, but it's telling me that I am. And I don't respect that. You know what? I think actually maybe there's like a specific path that you have to take that I am not taking. Maybe that's the issue. I don't really know. Every time I die though, it does give me the option to skip a stage. And this one is really testing my patience. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just, just ease through. Beautiful. We did it. Of course, you get to the 36% mark. Put a... Big old button right there to just finish the game. Pay to win. No! You can't make me, game. I will carry on and make my fellow Among Us crewmates proud of me. Also, I don't want to get voted off the ship. It's that easy. You know what? This one, it's a little, it's a little deceiving. The platforms are literally the same color as the sky, which is kind of scary but you can see the purple part underneath them so at least you have something as a frame of reference but if you're using this angle it's it's a little tricky nearly halfway done and look at what they give you yet again the temptation is real not gonna do it i really don't like these 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 are one of the worst obstacles Ooh, that one is a scary one right there okay just don't press the red part i'm getting way too close this is so sketchy. I hated that. I hated every moment of that, but we survived. I'm now so focused on completing this obby legitimately. I'm not even looking at the progress meter anymore. I'm so dedicated to whatever obstacle is before me that I'm not even looking. I have no idea that it says 72% right now until, until that moment when I fell. It's okay. I kind of thought that the middle of these was a platform. It wasn't, but we're almost there and that feels pretty good. I don't even know what's happening here, but I suspect that I should not press or run into the red rings on the outside of these platforms. So that's, that's precisely what I'm doing. I'm just aiming for the bullseye. Keep that progress meter ticking up. That's what we like to see. More bullseyes. I'm okay with that. Easy. I've been training my whole life for this. Not really, but at least for the last 15 minutes, I've been training for this. So bring it on. Yo, 95%, I didn't even notice. We are at the home stretch. Against all odds, I have managed to maintain my self-control and not just press the button to skip to the finish of this obby. I'm quite proud of myself and my little jelly bean man. For the record, his name is Ab says it right on his name tag. This is it. This is the end. How do I, wait, wait, what? Purple? Huh? Not purple, don't. Oh, I am very confused, but I need to jump over the blue section, which I thought was just the sky. It wasn't, but look at me. Boom, 100%. What is, excuse me? You gonna do me dirty like that? I complete your obby and you take me to a new obby that doesn't even load. So that's the big surprise, huh? Finish the game, get teleported to an obby that doesn't even work. I'm mad. I was vibing with this obby, me and Ab. 
persevering, overcoming such obstacles and difficulties. Perhaps the real surprise was the journey that we had all along. Either way, I hate it. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.